Hey, it's Leah, and welcome to Enlightened Mystic Essentials. Today we'll be we will be doing a reading for Libra. Libra, current situations. We're gonna look into your finances. We're gonna look into the darkness, which we may not look into it because the reason why I'm on so early for the ones who are subscribed is because you've been having messages coming out left and right. And the messages that have been coming out is a heavy message. And we will look into love. So you have finances, love, and dark, right? But we may not do a, a, a looking into the darkness because look like spirit is here trying to warn you guys about something that may be going on behind your back right so if you are new to my channel i'm leah i read numbers colors talk to spirits i will tell you what i feel i will tell you what i hear and i will also tell you what i see i am not the one that would dress up lies i will give it to you blood raw straight up no taste of another one you guys better be careful because the way these me this message is popping out, this is what you don't see. It's not even showing. It's uh, someone dealing with magic here, Libra. I said I was going to get back to the basics and start back doing current situations. If you have not checked out the abundance reading, it's up. And if you um, are in the process of proposing or... Um, you have been proposed to weddings and marriage. Your reading is also up. There, okay, there's your door. Because I was going to get you a theme for um, what doors you was going to get for this month. And uh, your door is here. So I'm going to jump right into it because it's heavy, right? And once again, it's for Libra. Libra. And I feel like something someone plan is not going to go the way that they think because I had a, you know, I had, I had a plan. I say, well, uh, let's go on. Let's do, you know, the divine doors for the opener for Libra. Let's look into um, Libra's abundance, Libra's love, and let's see what's going on in the darkness, right? To give Libra a heads up. Um. So we're going to jump into it. So your divine message, this is the message in which spirit gives me to give to you all. And if you hear me say spirit or divine spirit, I'm talking about Holy Spirit, right? So the first card that jumps out face up is called be the hunter, not the hunted. So I feel like it's a predator prey situation. It could be somebody who's praying on Libra. All right, praying. It comes in as an eight. The eight represents a uh, transformation, right? Rebirths, rejuvenation. It is also the number of spirit. Well, spirit comes in and tries to warn Libra and say, "Hey, you need to open your eyes. Something's going on. Something's going on. Whether it be in your face and you not notice it, or something's going on behind your back and you do not know." But I for 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 many of you, I feel like this is something you do not know. And in order for someone to be praying on you, for a lot of you, I feel like this is someone you know. And when I say behind the back, this is the reason why. Because clarifying being the hunter and not the hunted, you receive summon. Mm-hmm. Summon comes in as a four. So summon talks about some type of magic that is being done. And it comes in as a four. And four is one of the most injuring and damaging numbers on the boards at this time. Fours talk about what will keep you held down, nailed down, stuck to the ground, down, down to the ground. It also talks about blockages. It could also be a foundation or the structure. It could be something going on within a building, a home, apartment, anywhere there is four, wall, four walls or dwelling. It also talks about what needs to end, what needs to be buried. But here it talks about someone coming in, wink, 
weak, weak, because this is a feminine energy, right? Feminine energy represents a person who is wounded or a person who is in lack of. Now, this person could be in lack of the knowledge of magic, but because it says some men, they have learned or they are getting someone to assist. And the reason why I say they're getting someone to assist, whatever they're doing is going to be heavy, Libra, because you got the sorcerer, which is the magician, and the sorceress, which is the high priestess. This could be about a couple things, right? Could be. But I feel like whoever's doing the magic against you, because I hear against you, is so many different people with so many uh spiritual guides here and for some of you this could be a husband and wife couple that deals in magic and whatever's going to happen it is going to hit hard because you have the two major players and the thing about it is the musician is to the high priestess just like the emperor is to the empress but the high priestess can dibble and dabble with the emperor. So be careful. Because the sorcerer talks about a magi the magician factor, which is talks about something being created using some type of magic. But because the magician is paired up with the high priestess, the high priestess come in and represent moon energy. Could be reflections doing to others as as you have them do unto you, I hear. So if you have crossed somebody in the past or crossed somebody recently, they're getting ready to get they get back. High Priestess also talks about mysterious things, things that are unseen. She is the energy that that goes between the physical world and the spiritual world. And once again, if you haven't watched that abundance reading, watch it because it's about the difference between spiritual and the physical. I teach you about the different sides there. And she is one that can go through the gate of the physical world that we dwell in and the spiritual world. Be careful. Because if you have the energy of the magician creating the energy to manifest, the high priestess comes in and brings it forth into the spiritual. No, from the spiritual on into the physical. So it's like a two-step process. You got the, the magician creating the energy from the physical to send it to the spiritual. Once it gets to the spiritual, you have the high priestess bringing it back to manifestation. Whatever was manifested in the spiritual, it shows in the physical and bringing it back. So when I say be careful, I mean be careful because it's heavy, right? Heavy. And if someone is summoning something here and because they're coming in wounded, this is nothing good. Usually when I have this car and I and I touch it and I hear someone's dealing in magic and they don't know what the hell they doing, that's why it's coming in wounded. But this time, Libra, this is someone who you have hurt or someone who has uh, the feeling like you've crossed them or you stabbed them in their back. So to get their revenge or their get back, they're going to go behind your back, but they're not going to come to you in the physical and try to cuss you out or, or, or put their hands on you or do some type of physical abuse or verbal abuse. They're going to get their revenge in the spiritual realm. Now, what needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted is what you can't see. Because it's face down. You received surrender to spirit. Mm. So for a lot of you, in order to uh, block or protect yourselves, sometimes you have to fight spirit with spirit. And I see the image of the angel on one shoulder and the little demon on the other. So it says... Once you've done everything you can to achieve a goal, turn the situation over to the divine. Let spirit work its magic for you. Magic. Come on now. Pay attention. Wow. So we're going to look because I feel like 
for a lot of you, this could be dangerous. And I hear the word dangerous. Um, I also see the uh the um video with um Beyonce and Jay Z dangerously. What is it called? Dangerous in love or dangerously in love? For some of you, this could be a mate or a partner. So let's look into something. Let's see what's going on for some of you. But you better keep your head up. Because don't forget, be the hunter, not the hunted. A lot of you are walking around here with your head up so far up your butt, you don't even know that somebody's creating against you. Spirit summon. Why summon here? And then it comes in as a four. And then you have summon with the four. Be the hunter, not the hunted with the eight. Wow. Card. Together they represent the three. What is what is going on? Threes represent creation. What is being created? What is being manifested? And you receive choice. Also known as the devil card. And then it comes in as a six saying that this situation needs to be balanced. And once again, it could be about a couple. Because here, once again, feminine, masculine energy. Feminine, masculine energy with the magician and the high priestess. It also could be someone creating a, 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 a position or opportunity I hear. That's why this door is here. An opportunity to get the upper hand on Libra. Let's look at your door. Here's your door. You receive passages. Wow. It says, spiritual signs of inclination. You're walking through passages of transformation. Y'all better be careful, Libra. I'm telling you. Dang. I said, let me jump on. Who am I going to start reading for first? Libra popped in my head. I was praying that it was something good, but this is basically like Libra. You better watch your back. Libra, you better watch your back. Let's go. Spirit, clarify devil. Spirit, clarify choice, right? Needing to make the right choice. Needing to make the right choice. And I feel like it's 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 about it could be about someone feeling like they need to do better than than you, or they need to create an opportunity to get in a better or step further than you. This could also talk about raising promotions back to that abundance reading, because that was the other thing. Uh, abundance was about spiritual and physical versus physical and raise or promotions. And I tell you some things there that you can do. To help boost up your energy to get these raises and promotions. Because see, the thing here, the masculine energy comes in with white and green. White talks about the purity and the clarity, if not the baptism of the green. What is the green? Abundance, success, wealth, health, uh, the movement forward, uh, the green light. Uh, also heart situation or the heart chakra. Green is, it talks about the grass being greener on the other side. This could also be finances and investments, assets, you see? And this is the masculine. So this person is coming in strong about what they want or what they're aiming for. Because I hear aiming for like an arrow, shooting an arrow, hitting your mark. Where the weaker energy, which is the feminine energy, Coming in with the colors of pink. Pink talks about someone who is, uh, could be partnership. See that? Pink. Comfort zone. Pink. Uh, they feel like, um, friendships. Like the friendships. It's gonna talk about friendships. Pink is also the color of love. So it could be a mate. Your spouse, your mate. Um, Pink is also the, 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 the color of um peace. Someone who's at peace. And you could come in wounded at peace because you don't know that a person is manifesting and creating behind your back, Libra. Be careful. Spirit clarify choice, also known as the devil. And then the other thing, oh, wow. Be careful. The other thing that I noticed too, 
The dominant energy has the fire. It's a torch in their hand. Torches give off light. That talks about um, being led. It also represents the power or the desire. See, to get what they want. And this person is coming in saying, I want more. I want more. I want abundance. I want this. I want to be better. I want this, that, 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 that. And here's Libra chilling, relaxing, not even paying attention. Not even paying attention. You receive the page of cups. The page, page of cups talking about, it talks about an offer being given. You see that? But the person who benefits from the offer that is being given is the person who is giving it. So if a person is making up an offer, and for some of you, I also hear sacrifice. Some type of offering is being offered for them to be better. Who is going to receive is the person who's offering up the offering because the fish that represents plenty or abundance, the fish is looking back at the person who's offering it. So if you are not the person who's making an offer, how can the offer benefit you underneath the deck? Look, four coins to hold him back. Something is being restricted here. Libra, who is this? What is being restricted? A completion, a ending. If not ending someone's movement forward, because the world talks about taking a step forward in a journey of completion. Somebody's putting an end to this, and I hear child support. I hear court cases. I also hear law stay away. Uh, some type of banking issues. And it could be about finances because the four coins is here. Progression, movement. Once again, here comes the raises, promotions. Somebody's here blocking you. And then they tell us, Knight of Cups makes an offer. Mm. I know what I want. I know what, what I'm going to do to get it. And I'm going to make this offer. The way is being open. The way is being cleared because that Knight of Cups comes in. They come in on um, orange grounds that represent open road, open way. Uh, the way being clear or opportunity. But you see the three pyramids in the background? That talks about that ancient wisdom or spiritual wisdom. Once again, you got the magician and the high priestess. And then they tell you someone's using magic. See that? So whoever this is, they're, they're, they're no stranger to the spiritual realm. And they, they had an understanding that they had to go spiritually to get what they wanted. But guess what? The offer is being made, but it's being made for their victory. Six of staff. Y'all better get with it, Libra. Who is this person? Who is this person? That is manifesting against you for them to be better than you. Mo have more than you. More, more, more. Because that's all I hear someone saying. More, more, more. I want more. I want more. Be careful, Libra. Be careful. Um, And then another thing that I noticed here. This person comes in with their shield up. But the thing that I want you to know in the Knight, of, the Knight of Cups, they're making an offer to the sky. You see that? That's another indication that it's a spiritual offering being given here. But at the same time, they got their shield up, like shielding their back. So uh, even though I'm going into the spiritual realm, I'm not just making offers and sacrifices, but I'm being protected as well. You better be careful. And this person is making steps towards a stream of water. That stream of water, anytime you have water, water talks about a, a purification or to be baptized. So if this offer, that cup crosses that stream of water, even though that person doesn't, this offer is going to be accepted because it has been cleansed and clean. The only way you can cleanse and cleanse is through water, fire, or smoke. See that? Be careful. And they're making an offer. They're making an offer. They're making their way to be clear. And they're going by way of the spiritual realm. 
Libra, I, I don't know who you dealing with. Y'all better figure it out because they got the door passages. Because I also hear um once what was up must come down. And I also hear uh the head becomes the tail, the tail becomes the head. Y'all better get with it because somebody is not playing with y'all. Mm. So you got your door, right? And you got what's going on in the dark. So let's look into your abundance. Because if a person is coming through and manifesting against you, and, and it could be about finances and, um, uh, you know, investments and assets, you know, you just need to know. You don't need to know your position. Spirit. For Libra, current situations for Libras, the most fell energy for Libras in their finances and abundance. Whoa, that came out quick. That came out real quick. And I feel like, because the door opportunity cards are here and your angel is looking that way. See that? This is what you received. You received organized for success. And now we need to go to another, we need to get another door organized for success now let's see what 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 for what like for what op door opportunity dang that came out fast man y'all pay attention you receive divine guidance a lot of you need to tap into the spiritual uh i know you over here looking at these free videos on youtube but for a lot of y'all with these different situations dealing with these different people Sometimes looking at these free readings and trying to figure out how it um uh manifests in your life, a lot of y'all need to hop down with a spiritual um guide or some type of reader who you who you feel like can trust that is tapped in, tuned in, because I keep telling y'all, stop looking at these people who doing these readings and all they doing is re you know, rem you know, rememberizing the uh definition to a car and reading it to y'all. I see that a lot. You need to get somebody who literally can hear spirit. So divine guidance says, do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. Um. Also, I believe in the uh in the um abundance reading. Um. I told you guys about the number 1117. For many of years, I got the number 1117 and I always thought it was my birthday. Well, I thought, well, it is my birthday, 1117, November 17th, but I thought it was my death date because I would see it for years and years. And I was like, oh God, I'll be one of these people who die on their birthday. So, um, I had to learn to calm myself and, and think about it. Listen, Leah, you, you, you read numbers. So I broke down the three ones and then I looked up the seven and then I, I turned around and looked up the um angel number for it, the spiritual number and the Bible verse for it. And it 1117, just to teach you guys, anytime you see 1117, it talks about you being on the right path. That is your sign saying that you are on the right path. And a lot of you need to look into your paths. So organized for success says. Do not let, let the word organize intimidate you as it is simply a way for you to ensure clarity of purpose. Organizing your thoughts, your reports, and your living and working space and your finances will help you know and plan your next action steps. Once again, um, finances is here. Finances is here. A lot of you need some type of guidance for real. Let's jump into it and see what's going on. Divine spirit. Spirit says, go to my door. Go to my door. Let's see what spirit, what's, what's the spirit message? Spirit, what is the message you have for Leah? Lib Libra, not Leah, at this time. Woo, you see it? Directly on your divine guidance. Directly on your organized for success towards your divine guidance you receive the rainbow prince you representing compensation and preservation coming in as an eight spiritual rebirth spirit is here spirit is here 
A lot of you need to get your prayers up. Need to get your prayers up. A lot of you need to start uh, looking into these baths. And if you have not um, looked at the tea bath review, I talk about tea baths, how they are used, and washes and spiritual waters. It's all on this same channel. So let's go. Spirit, clarify the rainbow prince. Why is it here? All right, rainbow prince. Uh, rainbows talks about covenants, promises. Uh, rainbows could also represent the same sex communities, right? You receive desires, desires come in as a seven, desires. Get yourself um, some help, some type of guidance so you can get to your desires, the creation of your desires because, well, you got the creation of messages uh, uh, as well. Because you have three mermaids, right? And you have three birds. The creation within a creation to make forth a balance. So you have the creation of all people, right? And the creation of messages bringing forth a balance, right? Towards your desires because seven represents human. Seven represents self. That's what this card says. Clarify desires for Libra. Quick. Towards the doors. Once again, you receive the sun. Aiming towards the door. So they're, they're going to give you some type of uh, help. Right? Door. Representing abundance. Success. Right? All things go. But it also could also be uh, shedding some type of illumination. Right? Uh, or enlightenment because the sun is here. Clarify the sun for Libra. Inner power. Inner power. That's what you receive. This door. It says, be your own command. You bought yourself here. At this moment in life, you have nothing to fear. So I feel like for for many of you, it's a first time for something. Underneath the deck, three of coins is here. The collaboration of all people and all things towards a message. Towards a message, some type of news and communication. Page of swords. And here's the moon. Spiritually. 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 For a lot of you, it's like unknown territory. And it could be the unknown too. This is the moon. Or some type of reflection, reflector. It also could be um, darkness. Some type of light for your darkness. Some type of light for your darkness. Yeah. So Libra, keep your head up, man. Get, get yourselves together. For well, a lot of you, get you some help. Because you need it. You got people manifesting against you. They telling you organize for success, divine guidance. You know, you do what you got to do. Let's look into your love. Let's see what Libra got going on for love. Spirit for the most Libras. The most felt energy for Libras in love. Love situation may not be everybody's situation, but for most Libras. Came out quick. Axe. Break up, separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, and abandonment. Wow. Acts. That's that cutoff. It's, it, it, it feels negative. It feels negative. Break up, separation, stop the pattern. So if you're with someone, I know you may love them or you've been together for 10 years or 7 years because the day is uh, 7-11, lucky 7-11. And you break up only to make up. How long have you been doing that, right? How long has it been going on? Stop the pattern. Uh, for some of you, I feel like abuse is here. You with somebody who abuses you, stop the pattern. Some of you could be giving a silent treatment or getting the silent treatment. What, what has been done and then abandonment. Some, some people don't just left a situation, left a relationship and ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Let's go. Let's look and see what's going on. X. X. 
here for Libra. Clarify X. Why is X here? Why is X here? Some of you need to let it go and you know you need to let it go. Three. Three. You received water, water, earth. You received warrior of water, knight of cups, some type of offering. An offering. Towards your desire, seven of cups, options, decisions, choices. Towards the six of pentacles. Six of pentacles. I feel like a person comes in when the breakup occurs and they make offers or they tell you what you want to hear. See that? They tell you what they what you want to hear to smooth out the situation at that time. Six of Pentacles to bring forth a balance. This could also come in and tell us about uh, somebody because the knight is looked at as a player that comes in and, and, and they have choices, seven of cups. They have different options and they can choose what option? Seven days a week, seven cups, right? Every day it could be a different option. Um, to give, to make an offering out, to give out. Because in some of the tarot decks, you see the six of coin. Well, a, a dominant energy is holding three coins in one hand, but offering three coins to someone else. That is beneath them or down. A lot of times the person is down on the ground kneeling. So this could be somebody coming in to just tell you what you want to hear to make the situation right. You see that? Make the situation right. But it's only going to be short lived because there's no meaning or no uh, emotions behind it. You see that? They just, uh, let me just, let me just tell her what she want to hear so she won't go nowhere. Or she won't go date somebody else or be with somebody else. And and uh, while I'm over here making it right with her, I got my other piece on ice, my side piece on ice. I ain't talking to her right now or I'm not messing with him right now. That's silent treatment. So I feel like well, one is on, one is off. Until this person can figure out how to get uh, two people, right, two people, um, in a balance, like they try to balance, right? Balance out two people. What needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted? And another thing, I'm going to tell you what I see. I'm going to show you. Woo, come on out. Two, two. Two, 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 two. And they both are face down, so it's what's not seen. Like, what I see is this. You have... A dominant energy, because this is, is a masculine, right? Masculine energy. But the masculine energy is like they looking for something else because they're looking away and turning their back on the th look, three women or three feminine energies, three feminine energies or three energies that are weak, right? And what makes an energy weak or a person weak, right? Not knowing that the person who they love or the person that they're dealing with could be messing with them and two more other people. Or the person that they're dealing with is messing with them, this person, and could be possibly looking for another. But you got to be careful with the third because the third could be in here to replace one of you. So when the main thing ain't acting right, I got a side piece. But when my side piece got a problem, I got a side piece for my side piece. Be careful. What needs to be surrendered, released, or accepted that you do not see, do not know? Surrender to setting limits. Some of you need to what? Cut it off. That's why I say stop the pattern. Hold up. I don't feel like that today. Oh, I ain't dealing with you no more. You see that hand up? Bye. Go away. Not today. I can't do it. And for some of you, I hear um, you need to work with get rid of, get rid of. The other, you need to see that you don't know, surrender to intuition. A lot of you feel it. A lot of you know it, but you don't accept it or you want to turn your head. And until you tell them, uh-uh, I ain't got time for that and listen to your spiritual, you're going to keep going through this pattern 
of um break up to make up, break up to make up, speak, not speak, talking one minute, not talking the next. It says surrender to setting limits. It it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Wow. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. So if you got somebody coming around and you really got feelings for them, but you only notice they come around when you, uh, when they want some loving or you want some loving and you put that phone call in, maybe you're not the main thing. Uh, surrender to your intuition. Tune in to your inner voice, that spirit. Be aware of any gut feelings, flashes, knowings, and aha moments that will come through to guide you. Yeah, stop turning your head. You know what it is. So you do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. Um, With that note, for some of you who are in the process, hopefully you can see it because this one is backed up and getting ready to go out for... um. Getting ready to go out for um, an order. I have hand created soap. It's a ring soap. I don't know if you guys seen it on any of my previous videos or not. But this is a ring. This is soap. Right? They're all handmade because I have different people who want different things. But this is a gold soap. Right? The gold soap is for um, joy attraction, charm, and confidence. A few more other things too. Persuasion, right? This can be used while dating, um, during proposals, weddings, and marriages, right? Marriages. So it's like it can be used at any time. So for a lot who are married and you need to bring a spark back into your life or you feel like, um, Leah, we've been married 10 years and I'm, I just don't feel like I'm sexy enough. That soap will help uh, boost up your confidence, right? Confidence. Um, and, it, and also boost up attraction because it's, it's a couple of things that's added into it. It's just not regular soap. Um, if you are having problems in your marriage, say like you, um, need to get some type of, um, faith, right? Or, 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 uh, what I say, uh, yeah, we'll say faith because faith popped in my head. You would order like a white ring, right? White ring because faith is, um, white, if you are arguing uh, or having some type of disputes um, and you need to settle down a situation within um, a marriage, brown. So go to lighttomister.org and you will see the Lucky Charm ring soaps or the Lucky Charm soaps for, what, for wedding and marriages and select what you need. If you're not sure. Or you need more additives into it to help with the situation, depending on how heavy the situation is. Um, email me or it's a, it's a chat there. It's a chat box there. Me and we can chat live. And you can say, well, Leah, I need something for this, that, that, that. What would you recommend? And I'll respond right back, right? So, Libra, get yourselves together. Um, anybody who needs to talk to me, you can email me, right? Or go to enlightenedmystic.org and talk, chat with me live. Um, but that has been your current situations, man. Y'all got a lot going on. All right, a lot going on. So I love you guys. Thank you for rocking with me. Um, and make sure you stay safe and stay prayed up because COVID is back on the rise, baby. Back on the rise. Uh, you can find me at Amazon at Enlightened Mystic. I have a shop there. I am also on Instagram at Leah Enlighten. I got a shop there and a page there, which I probably will start loading up some readings there that will not be on YouTube. Um, you can also find me on Facebook at EME Essential. That's, you know, my, my page or EME Essentials with an S is the shop. So I love you guys. Uh, 
tune in to Dark Mystic Tarot, which is our sister channel. I posted over there, I think, last month, but I'm going to get ready to post again. And until I see you guys again, I love you. Stay prayed up. Stay blessed up. And be safe.